aka the sophisticated shopper and I'm here today to present to present you to my February Ipsy bag. Um, it is now March 4th so I'm not too far behind but I did receive this actually early in the month of February I just didn't have time to make and post a video on it um, so I'm getting around to it now finally but it's not too late. So this is the cute little Ipsy bag that we got this uh, not this month, but February, the month of February, and it's a really cute pattern, and it's, it feels like it's pretty well made, um, like it's, it would hold up, and it feels like it might be washable if it gets dirty, so that's a plus in itself. So this month, this actually came with a product that did not fit inside the bag, and this is actually probably my favorite, if not my second favorite item in this bag uh, for this month, and this is actually, let me see, uh, this is a large angled bu large angled brush 504 by Luxie and it is a baby pink brush with a rose gold kind of metal to it and the brush is synthetic so it's not real but it's so so soft like and it's fluffy too which is great for an angled brush because the only one that I have is an elf one and it's kind of swished down like this and it's not at all soft so I want to use this kind of for highlighting right here and maybe even contouring a little bit um, even though I don't do that every day I'd like to use that um, and try it out for it so I'm really really excited about this brush and I can't wait to use it it's already my favorite and I haven't used it yet but I'm sure it'll be great so moving on I guess I will use this so it doesn't spill so then I also got two items in this bag this month uh, of February that I just I can't I can't deal with um, one of them I think I threw it away better no I grabbed the wrong thing um, one of them is this little perfume it's called number one parfum um, and it is by Joya and it's a cute little bottle like cute it's got little gold writing but it's absolutely tiny and it's actually a portable rollerball. Um, I'm not crazy about the scent. However, I do like how they made this scent to where it is different on every person, which that's how it is for all perfumes. But it's different for every person that wears it. Um, for some people, it takes out a more sandalwood kind of smell. Um, others, more floral. And um, I think it also has a citrus kind of smell for certain people. Um, and when I first use it, which I'll do it again just to remind myself of the scent. Um, when I first did it, I think I got the sandalwood smell. Um, and I was not fond of that, so I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. I might just use it for, like, as a perfume oil. Um, just kind of putting it behind my neck or something. Um, it's not horrible. But it could be better. I mean, it could be a little bit more fruity. Um, like a little bit more fruity tones just to balance it out, but um, it's not horrible. I just, I personally wouldn't repurchase this. So, I'm just going to completely skip the face oil. Um, I might have that in a picture, but I'm going to completely skip it just because I'm never going to use it. I don't want to use face oils with harsh chemicals in them, even though it says that it's completely natural. Um, when reading the ingredients on it, I just... I, I did not look like how it looked and I was also reading some uh, reviews on it and people were not liking how it felt on their skin so since I have sensitive skin I was not even going to try it out and I think I just shoved it high up in my uh, I can't think of what it is high up in my uh, medicine cabinet or I tossed it so I don't have that to show to you guys but I did get the face oil that they offered and is about it was about like this size of a bottle um, but it, it wasn't that great um, you're not missing out on much so my second favorite item was actually this amazing and I'm very very excited to get a full-size blush um, in the bag so this is obviously it says blush right there and this is 
Model Co's uh, Blush Cheek Powder in Peach Bellini. And I'm so excited that I got the peach color, not the pink, because I personally like uh, peachy toned uh, blushes more than I do pink. So just barely swiping it, there's a lot of color payoff. Um, yeah, it's pretty dark. So it's actually a really nice color. It's a little dark, so you really have to blend it out. Um, I think, no, I'm not wearing it today. I was wearing it yesterday to work just because I knew I could get away with it um, with the darker lighting. It wouldn't look as like crazy as it would during the daytime. But once you really blend it out, even with your fingers or with another brush, it's a very, very nice color. And uh, the formula is very, very silky. Um, not at all like gross and like chunky and powdery. And um, it's not hard to sweep off the uh, actual out of the actual container either, so I really like that. Um, and if I could, I probably would repurchase this. I'm just not sure how to, probably on a Model Coast website, but I would purchase this in other colors just to try them out because they're, they're pretty good blushes. Um, yeah, and oh, here we go. I did go away from you, which is why this video kind of skipped over to another part. Um, I did go to try to find the uh, face oil, and I found it. It was uh, Mitchell and Peach Flora Number no. One Fine Radiance Face Oil, which this is the little vial right here that I refused to use and probably just broke. Um, let's see, it was already like it was in a little plastic baggie in my bag, and I took it out the other day, and it's already like leaking, which I don't like. I don't like it. Um, it says it's a light oil with natural antioxidants and vitamins to use massage two to three drops into the skin alone or under moisturizer caution do not ingest avoid the eyes um, and contains nut traces so if you're allergic to nuts or um, anything like that don't use this don't it's it's just don't do it don't do it uh, yeah I'm not sure I'll ever use this I may try it once or twice but I'm not sure. That one smells very, very, very florally, and I don't like that. So, yeah, that was kind of a bummer. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, okay, now last but last, not least, I got a lip product, and it is actually City Colors Creamy Lip Stain in Flirtini. That is a decent sized uh, lip stain. Um, I love the packaging. It's very cute and hot pink-ish. Um, but when you put it on your hand or even your mouth, it's a beautiful blush color. Um, I was, like, the formula's really, really nice. However, with it trying to be a stain or claiming to be a stain, it does not stain your lips very well and it rubs off very easily. Um, even if you give it a lot of time to dry, it, it just doesn't do well. So this is the color before it's completely dried. It's a nice, um, deep blush color, and I really like it, but then I'll rub it just to show you in a spot that is dry. You shouldn't be able to do that to a lip stain. You really shouldn't be able to rub that off completely. So I was disappointed with that, but with this being um, such a nice color, I might just use it kind of as a lip gloss and just have to reapply it. Um, later throughout the day, but it's a great color. I uh, love it, and it's very cute with the, the whole um, budding in love theme that they had with the cute pinkish peach blush, the pink brush, and the cute little pink uh, lip stain. And even the bag, the bag's pink too, so it was a very pink month. And um, I actually loved it. This bag, I would say, however, though, because of the perfume oil and the face oil, I would rate it maybe. Let me think. I probably rate it a four just because of the three really nice products and the bag was actually pretty well um, made and it was a cute pattern. So yeah, so if you enjoyed seeing my video for my February uh, Ipsy bag, please like this video and subscribe below if you'd like. Um, hopefully I will have more videos to come after this. Um, I'm trying to film and write as much as I can while I have little itty bitty breaks of time throughout uh, studying and doing homework. 
So hopefully you guys will see some more videos within this week. If not, look for them next week. Um, so yeah. And also, if you're interested in joining Ipsy and getting um, different bags each month, uh, my referral link will be below for you all to check out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.